at the um, recent ESMO 2020 virtual meeting, we presented results of the Crown study. And the Crown study is a phase three study that compared lorlatinib to crizotinib as first line treatment for patients with advanced ALK positive lung cancer. The key take home message is uh, that it's highly effective in, bo in controlling both um, disease um, uh, systemically and also intracranially, and both, um, both areas are important. Um, the, the hazard ratio uh, of 0.28 is, um, is, is quite remarkable and is, um, it, it is different to the hazard ratio that's been seen in other studies with second generation inhibitors where the hazard ratio compared to crizotinib has been closer to 0.5. Um, I think the, um, the control in the brain is really important because progression in the brain is a pretty significant event for a patient with lung cancer. So to prevent um, uh, uh, brain metastases, I think, is a, is a big deal. Um, the safety profile is important to note, and it's important for clinicians treating patients with lorlatinib to understand this profile and to, uh, to be able to actively manage um, uh, toxicities related to lorlatinib, just as when you're, when you're using any other agent, uh, it's important to uh, be able to manage, um, manage the toxicities. And in terms of, um, you know, in, in terms of where it sits in terms of um, first line options. I think it, uh, it it probably looks like the most um, most effective first line option, but there is a limitation of this study that um, we're not able to make direct comparisons with second generation inhibitors such as electinib or brigatinib, um, because as with as the phase three studies with those agents were done in comparison with um, crizotinib, uh, the same was the case in this study. It's great that we've got uh, options in terms of second and third generation inhibitors. I, I think as with everything, it comes down to, um, uh, to balancing efficacy and toxicity. And I think it is a general principle in oncology that we, we tend to use our best option first because we don't necessarily get an option to use it later. So I think there will be some debate amongst people who would prefer to start with a second generation inhibitor and then save lorlatinib um, as a third line option. But I think there are arguments, um, um, in fact, compelling efficacy arguments provided by this study to use lorlatinib as a first line option in terms of getting um, effective control straight up, effective and durable control straight up. Uh, and uh, and preventing progression in the brain. I think um, uh, we will learn with longer term follow up from the study additional data regarding, um, uh, for example, the median progression free survival, which has not yet uh, been reached in the study. And eventually I think um, um, long term follow up will also um, provide us more information about brain control and and, and mechanisms of resistance.